Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the substra and substring functions in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use some example character string that we can create in line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new character string object appears which is called x1. And uh, this character string simply contains the sentence, hello, this is a string. So one thing that we can do with the substr and substring functions is that we can extract certain values or certain characters of this character string. Um, and this is what I'm showing you here in example one of the code. So in line five of the code, you can see that within the substr function, we have to specify the name of our vector, then we have to specify a starting point, and we have to specify at which point we want to stop. So in this example, we are going to extract the characters between the starting point 7 and the stopping point 13. So if you run line 15 of the code, you will see that at the bottom of the RStudio console, um, the character string this is is returned and this is because the characters this is are at the positions or between the positions 7 and 13. Yeah, similar to that we can also use the substring function but within the substring function we have to specify um, the first letter instead of a starting point and we have to specify the last letter. So if we run this line of code then you can see that the output is exactly the same. So now you might wonder what is actually the difference between the substr and the substring functions. And one difference of these two functions is that within the substr function, um, you always need to specify the start and the stop. So if we would apply the substr function, as you can see in line 9, without a stopping point, then the R Studio console is returning an error. However, if we apply the substring function, as you can see in line 10, only with the argument first, but not with the argument last, then we still get a result. And as you can see, if we do not specify a last character that we want to extract, then the substring function is simply returning all characters after the first position. Yeah, so finally, in the last example of this video, I want to show you how to use the substr and substring functions in order to replace certain characters of your character string. And uh, for this example, I'm going to replicate our example vector x1. And um, then if we want to use the substr function um, in order to replace a certain part of our character string, then we have to specify a starting point and a stopping point, as we already did in example 1. But this time we also need to assign some new characters to this part of the string. So if we run this line of code, you will see that now the first five letters, the letters between 1 and 5, are replaced with hey ho instead of hello. Yeah, we can use the substring function uh, in a similar manner, but this time, um, again, we don't have to specify the stopping point because we are replacing the first few characters of our character string. So within the substring function, in this example, we only need to specify the argument first. And then, as with the substr function, we need to specify with which letters we want to replace our characters. So if you run this line of code, then you will see that the substring function is creating the same output as the substr function. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the substr and substring functions in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the home page I have recently published a tutorial on these two functions and in this tutorial I'm explaining the 
content of this video in some more detail and I'm also giving some more examples for the application of substra and substring. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.